Initially, I was going to title this video, Crash Bandicoot Rants, Some Stupid Fans Part 2. But I know exactly what energy that's going to bring me, and I do not need that in my life right now. So I'm going to make something very clear. If you enjoy Crash 4, if you support Crash 4, if you like what you see in regards to Crash 4, keep supporting it. That's great. If you have certain criticisms regarding Crash 4, it's okay to express those things. But to make a petition to change the designs because you feel as though it's going to ruin Crash like it did in the PS2 days, that's silly. But even as it is silly, it is also very concerning because we see just how influential this fan base has over the series, how much control that these fans have over the series, how entitled that these fans are over the series. We see it, it's there, it's all there. And they might actually take the series into a direction that not a lot of people are going to desire. They may take the series down a path that is going to destroy its future. Keyword is may. My good friend Jammer went on Twitter and searched up Crash 4 to see if he could find people with thoughts in regards to the gameplay. And what he was unfortunately dealt with, or met with rather, was people complaining about the designs and he's surprised he's saying that crash fans don't deserve this and i'm just sitting here wondering like why are you surprised this has happened before this happened 12 to 13 years ago with crash of the titans and crash mind over mutant this isn't new i understand that when something is presented when something is shown art style and personality is what what's going to capture your eye whether it be positive negative or neutral but there are bad thorns within these bushes. Bushes as in the communities. Thorns as in these toxic people. You're going to have those fair share of people. The reason why I said to stick with Crash 4 if you support it is because that's what should be more important internally. You shouldn't have to worry about other people in general. The game's going to sell regardless, so it doesn't even matter. As most of you know, I'm pushing for Bloody Roar to get some type of resurgence, and I'm not going to stop doing that, regardless of what people think. I stopped looking up things in regards to Bloody Roar because even though that series hasn't had anything for almost 20 years, there are people that still have doubts, that are still negative, that are still pessimistic about that game's future. And it got to me. There's not a lot of people like me that support Bloody Roar on the level that I do. So I stuck to myself. This situation with Crash 4 is no different. Just because we got something new doesn't mean that everything is going to be shrouded with positivity my friend jammer if you're watching this video the reason why people aren't discussing the gameplay too much is because it's all the more similar to how it was in the past with crash one to three what is there to discuss the only thing that's new are the designs with crash of the titans and modern mutant what was new with those games were the designs but they took it a step further and expanded upon what was already established with the Crash series. The foundation that the Crash series already had. But people still said that those didn't feel like Crash games. Even though Crash still did things that people recognized him for. It's not rocket science, bro. It's not rocket science to anyone in general that's watching this. Again, don't worry about what other people think. Stick to it. Support it. Love it. Do you. And you can get peace in what you enjoy. I promise you. This is not new. Just don't care. I know it's not easy for everybody. I know you don't want to be alone in how you feel and what you enjoy, but sometimes it's just better that way. That's all I can say.